thinking about camping out in the snow, then there's a few things that you need to consider before venturing out on your first snow camping experience, with one of the most important considerations being your equipment. Most hikers who are looking to widen their hiking experience to include snow camping already own three season hiking gear, hopefully gear that's held up well and that they can trust. However, this equipment may not be fit for the harsher weather that you can expect on a winter outing. But then comes the important question is what gear do I need for four season camping? And one of the common answers among others is a four season tent. But what exactly is a four season tent and how does it differ from its three season counterparts? Lots of questions arise and knowing what you actually need can become complicated. So to make sure that you don't fall prey to these complications, I've collected everything that I know about four season tents, along with some snow camping tips to get you on your way. For those who are interested in my specific four season tent that I use, if you may have seen it in one of my other videos, I've dedicated a section of this video to going over the setup and other features surrounding this tent, as it's not very popular online and could do with a little bit more information. So let's begin by firstly dispelling some confusion around what a four season tent actually is. Four season is simply a category of tent, where tents are designed to withstand the weather typical of the winter season. Four season tents when compared to their three season counterparts are made of stronger fabrics and materials and are designed to deal with high rainfall, snow and strong winds, all elements that should be expected if you're alpine camping. As you could imagine, the fabrics used to construct these tents are waterproof or at least highly water resistant. The fabrics used in these tents are also very resistant to tearing. In terms of features, these tents come with solid inners instead of mesh inners. Solid inners provide superior protection against the elements along with increased warmth, this being due to a massive reduction in airflow. As this is the case, these tents aren't very suitable for the situations outside of the winter, and condensation also becomes an issue due to this reduction in airflow. If you don't have a breeze to cycle air through your tent throughout the night, you could be waking up to a very wet morning or, worst case, you could be dealing with icicles falling on your face throughout the night. I'm speaking from experience. It sucks. Why I mentioned tearing before when talking about materials is that's the number one reason why your tent could fail you in harsh weather conditions expected in the Alpine. There are two main ways that tearing can happen tent pole failure and excessive flapping. To reduce the likelihood of your tent failing due to a tent pole snapping, four season tents come with highly reinforced tent poles or at least options to double pole the tent. And then for the other way that tents can fail you, that pretty much comes down to you and how you pitch the tent. If you get a bad pitch and bad tension, then it makes it that flapping's more likely to occur in wind. But if you get a really good pitch and really good tension, then you don't really have to worry about that. Essentially, a four season tent's main distinction is that it's able to deal with very strong winds along with high rain and snowfall when compared to a three season tent. But does this mean that you can't use a three season tent for snow camping? Well, the answer is it depends. Do you want to camp in places like this? If so, you absolutely need a four season tent. But what if you plan to camp at or below the tree line? If you pick your weather windows wisely and strictly do not camp in the alpine, then I don't think it's necessary for you to go out and buy a four season tent if you already have a high quality three season tent. Remember that the main distinctions between a three and four season tent is that a four season tent can simply deal with the harsher weather more effectively than a three season tent. So if you remove this harsh weather from the equation through avoiding exposed campsites above the tree line, then there isn't really a need for you to use a four season tent. The only factor that you may want to consider is that a four season tent is going to be warmer than a three season tent because of its solid inner. But you could deal with this warmth problem through having an adequate sleep system, and it's much more cost effective to upgrade your sleep system than it is to buy a brand new and often very expensive four season tent. Rather than buying a new sleeping bag rated to winter temperatures, you could upgrade the warmth of your existing one by combining it with a backpacking quilt or a sleeping bag liner. This same idea applies to upgrading your sleeping pad. If you have a three season sleeping pad that has an R value of around three, you can easily add at least two R value to the system by combining it with a foam mattress. This is a much more cost effective way than going out and buying a brand new winter sleeping pad, which could set you back somewhere in the realm of 500 bucks. So then for those of you who are interested in a four season tent because you plan to be camping in the Alpine, then comes the question of what style of four season tent is best for you, as there are many different styles and many different options. One of those options and a very popular style four season tent is the single wall mountaineering tent. These tents are incredibly lightweight and storm worthy, a great choice for moving fast and light on very mountainous terrain. However, these tents aren't the most livable and don't offer as much protection as others. Another choice is the expedition style tent. These tents are quite large and heavy but very strong in adverse weather. 
ideal for base camp adventures over multiple days. My personal favourite style of tent is the tunnel tent. These tents seem to combine the best features of single wall mountaineering tents and expedition style tents. They're extremely strong, lightweight and reasonably roomy, a middle ground between the latter two styles. The tent that I use is a wilderness equipment second arrow, a very well made and designed four season tent. Other alternatives to the second arrow are the Macpac Olympus, the Macpac Minaret, the Hilleberg something, hang on, Hilleberg Nalo. I don't know all the names, I look at them very briefly because I see the price and then I immediately close the window. And then another Australian made option is the Mont Supercell. While the tunnel tent style is extremely good in the Alpine, they're not immune to downsides. One of the main downsides being their weakness to changeable wind direction. For optimal strength, you need to pitch them short side against the wind. If the wind changes to the broad side of the tent, or worse, does a complete 180 to the opposite side, then they aren't nearly as strong. These tents also aren't free sanding, so getting a perfect pitch can be difficult in certain campsites. Aside from those two downsides, from my experience I haven't really noticed anything else that's bad about these tents. When I was in the market for a four season tent, I landed on the Wilderness Equipment Second Arrow after seeing the Oates Brothers use it on their winter traverse of the Australian Outs walking track. They used it during the main range section and the Bogong High Plains. They noted a few flaws as well, mainly being the lack of space for two people in the tent, and problems with detaching the inner from the outer tent. However, they attested to the strength of the tent in alpine conditions and suggested that it would be a good choice for a roomy one person winter tent. And I'd have to agree with them on that. I definitely wouldn't want to be squishing two people inside this tent. However, because I camp by myself, I absolutely love the amount of room that I have inside of the tent to store all my kit. I've also noticed that the tent might be a little bit short for those over six foot, I'm 5'10 and I don't really notice being cramped in the tent, but I can see how that could be the case. But other than those slight inconveniences, the tent absolutely shines in alpine conditions. The setup at first is a bit awkward, but after a few pitches it's actually fairly quick to set up and can be done so with the inner attached to the outer. It's got plenty of peg out points and guy lines, weighs only 1.6 kilos for a four season tent, which is really really good, and can put up with strong persistent winds and powerful gusts. So you might be thinking, Hang on, this isn't a mountain top. You'd be right, this is my backyard, but it's a convenient place for me to set up the tent and show you how it's done. So I'm gonna stick you on my head and then we'll get into it. First thing you wanna do is get the tent on the ground and figure out which side is the short side, which would be this side here. Reason being is you need to point this side in the direction of the wind. So the wind's coming from this direction, so I'm just gonna point it directly into the wind Make sure this part here is quite loose because you'll need to tighten it as the last step. So loosely put a peg in there to hold it still. Next step is to get your tent poles. Start with the short one. The short end will be black. At least for this edition of the tent, there's been multiple editions over the years. This is the most recent one, so you'll have a black tent pole for the short side. Now what you want to do, come up to where the grey is here and you'll find where the tent pole sits in. Just there, you can flip it over and you'll find the sleeve, which is this part here. What you want to do is just push the pole through the sleeve. So you push it through instead of pulling it through from the other side. And this usually goes in pretty easy. And if it struggles, you can pull the tent across the pole whilst you're pushing the pole through. Once that's on the other side, do the same for the long side of the tent. Just cause it's a bit longer of a sleeve for it to go through. What you want to do is flip this outer fly up a little bit, makes it a bit easier to find the um, tent sleeve. So as you can see, it's quite a, a long pole, this one. So we'll flip up the fly and you'll find the sleeve pretty easily there. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to push the pole through the tent sleeve and you'll most likely run into some 
troubles with getting it through, but just pull the tent across the pole, push the, the pole through. And there you go. After you've done that, come back to the short side and just connect up the first end into there as such. Go over to the other side. And then what you want to do again is push the tent pole up into the tent. And that's gonna stretch it out for you. Find where the foot is for the tent pole. And there you go. See it just there. Make sure it's not all tangled up. That looks pretty good. Then do the same thing for the other side. There you go. I'm gonna check for any tangles. Doesn't look like there's any. So then after that, come up to the front and you'll find these two loops here, which are gonna be the main part. So you can then pull the tent forward. As you can see here, you've got the pole crossing where this bit of um, fabric is, and you don't want that to happen. So take it out, um, slip it around the other side of the pole, and then simply seat it back in. There you go. So then as you can see, it's around the other side of the pole now. Again, grab the two loops, pull it out, straight as you can. Grab your 10 pegs. And you wanna pull it straight this way. You don't wanna pull it out to the side. And then that looks pretty good there as well. And you come back around to this side where this should be pretty loose. And then you wanna pull it as tight as you can. There you go. So as this is a, a video about four season tents on the main point such as this one, I'll have a snow peg and Depending on the cover, you won't always be able to put the snow peg directly down into the ground. So you might want to do what's called a dead man anchor, which is essentially having the tent peg laying across like that. So it will be across in the point such as this. And then what you'll do is then you'll pile snow over the top of that and then it's going to hold it in just more surface area. Um, for it to hold in and even depending on the snow pack if the snow pack isn't very firm it's, it would actually be better for you to put the tent pegs in the snow as dead man anchors instead of directly down such as we have here on the grass now another thing you can do with this tent in the winter seasons is make it sit more squat to the ground and you do that by pulling the sides out and using the tent pegs just to sit it into the ground like that. And then what you can do on each of the four pole points is pull it down. It just makes it sit a bit lower to the ground, stops more of the wind coming in. And yeah, it's a bit fiddly in the beginning to get it set up quite nicely, but you keep doing it. And then as you keep doing it, you get better at pitching it out and then it actually becomes quite quick as you can see and quite simple to set up and because you can set it up with the inner attached to the outer like that 
Uh, you don't have to have the inner tent get soaked if you're caught out in rain or heavy snow. So that's how you set up the wilderness equipment second arrow. And there you have it, four season tents, hopefully demystified. While four season tents are absolutely vital in the Alpine, depending on your snow camping intentions, they may not be necessary. Hopefully you've learnt a thing or two from this video and are now able to make more informed decisions when it comes to buying snow camping equipment. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you left a like, and I'm also interested to know what four season tents you guys use, or which ones you're interested in buying after watching this video. I'd say go out and enjoy the snow, but the snow season has unfortunately come to an early end in Australia, so instead I'll just say until next time, happy hiking.